angel, what other angel? The angel is where shit is. Well, in the bottom of the gastrointestinal tract, there's a little invisible seed in your root chakra, and that's where your soul is, and up under the shit sack. And when it rises to the pineal gland, and the third hour, that's the Christ, the Christos, the anointed one, with the crown chakra opening up. He's a metaphysical terminologist. It has nothing to do with a man running around in some sandals over there 2,000 years ago. You see what I'm saying? The, 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 the book is a book that you're supposed to put yourself in the aspect of the Christ and follow the script, scripture from Old Testament, old body, to New Testament, new body. It's a metaphysical journey. It has nothing to do with some man that you uh, waiting for. And that's the way the ruling powers got you waiting on some mythological figure who ain't coming but yourself. And then A.E. The Waits Kabbalah says the Christ who is to come is in all of us. Right. Why? Because the Christ Christos is another Greek word for the word soul. I thought that the Greeks were pagan. Well, damn Christians, seem to me there's something that would encapsulate it, even the name of your faith. You wouldn't have it as a Greek term. You would try to find a Hebrew term. But they know there's no J in the Hebrew alphabet. You see what I'm saying? And Walter Williams, the Historical Origins of Christianity. Get that book, Historical Origins of Christianity, Walter Williams. Broke that. You get the word Jupiter in Rome, which is the father. But in Greek, he's called what? Zeus. You take the J from Zeus. You, know, you take the J from Jupiter, and, uh, and, and the word Zeus was also announced Zeus in other Greek terminology. You get the word Jesus or Jesus, it means Jupiter and Zeus. So the Romans had the last lap when they comprised their damn religion. They said, shit, we're going to put our God up in there <laughs> as the Messiah. Motherfucker still calling on Jupiter and Zeus. <laughs> That's why the most scholars call it Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Now the key here is, the key here is, so these things have nothing to do, these things have nothing to do with a physical man out here. They're talking about the transformation of the soul and the transmigration of the soul. And when the, when the, when, when, when the Roman government wanted to corner the market on religions, they historicalized the last part of Jesus or the Christ, which is metaphysical, that was brought to them by the Gnostics. And the Gnostics came out of Egypt, but the Gnostics was throughout the land, and the Gnostics said, hey, the Jesus up in here is our Messiah. So they said, what? Kill off all the Gnostics. And they killed them off and ran them up, and some of them traveled up into France. They're called the Catherines, or what they call the Merovingians. That's where you get the Merovingian in the, in the movie The Matrix. That's the Christian. Christ's bloodline, that's the Catholic, which is a Gnostic group that have their roots in Egypt of the Coptics. But they killed off all those people and stole their religion and then historicalized Jesus to come to the market. Jesus died in the cross. Your soul fell from a, 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 a God-like state encased into a body. The cross is the physical body and your soul is resting dead on the cross until it illuminates on the cross or from the cross to the crown chakra and the kundalini is all a metaphysical aspect that's going on. And it has nothing to do with anything of a historical person that you all wait on. You think a person that would kill you just for you damn talking this political shit? You think if there was something authentic about this physical person coming back, they wouldn't have a church on every corner in the black community.